if your card is a king of diamonds, no matter if you're a male or female, this is your birthday card. We're talking about the successful business person. We're talking about you are the master of values, finances, and business. And so we're talking about you are the people who correspond with your adulthood. You are the money makers. You are the one who get it. You deal with the material wealth and the power of values. You deal with diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Diamonds are like a Jew. It's a stone that allows the light to pass through, you know what I'm saying, on a practical level. And you can say diamond stands for money, but actually it stands for values, principles, and, and worth. And so with this being said, it, it includes all spectrums of the human's life, including the spiritual aspect, spiritual spiritual worth. Not only the values of the material, even though you're the master of this plane, also of the spiritual. So this being said, and you are the king of diamonds, you know that everything and everyone in life has its price. And so a lot of you who has the king of diamonds card is the ones who are the business person. You are the one who can be very mercenary when it comes to money and business. But you don't have to be, you know what I mean? Because you also could be blindsided by the material aspects and stubborn, and this could bring you down. Because a lot of you are known to have many enemies. You know what I mean? You're known to have many uh, enemies. And so, a lot of you know what the real value and worth is when we talk about life, we talk about the material aspects. It's because because you can use your knowledge instead of your fears to gain a lot of respect for people in the business world. That I mean, as long as you don't be so selfish and go against uh, people and using your powers to get things going your way at the harm or expense of others. You know what I'm saying? You'll be, you'll be very good. You can appear to be cold and ruthless. You know what I mean? Because you had many problems probably, probably, maybe, during your childhood. You know what I mean? It need to be dealt with. And so long as you get out, get out of that rut, out of your problems and, and attain the spiritual aspects and the creative aspects of your life as an idealistic and a, as a planner, you know what I mean? You can succeed and overcome any obstacles with this confidence and this strength. You know what I mean? Because you got a, a gift for attaining prosperity of all kinds. And so you can do much good in the world by giving to the world. Not only you gaining wealth, but giving will also help you because you are very sociable and friendly and you prefer to work with people of uh, the same values you have, a worth that you have, a status. But it's for you not to look down upon people, but as long as you can get to the point to where you can help people, and for you to give in every aspect. You know what I mean? And to inspire others, when, especially when it comes to organizing business. Because you're all about uh, security. You're all about wealth. And so, you make good biz business judgments. You got a quick mind. But long as long as you don't be the clever manipulator, you'll be good. And you prefer working with fresh young people who can keep their who can keep active and keep busy. And also you're good at organizing people of all kinds when they're talking about organization and structures and anything that deals with business and finances. And a lot of you was ambitious early in life and restless, you know what I mean, at a young age. A lot of you got a proper education, a proper education, diplomas, or you succeed some area in life. Know what I mean? And some of you got your own businesses or scribing to have your own businesses. But however, you will succeed. You like to travel and you like to profit by traveling. Especially when your work is in the mental field associated with the uh, intellectual ideas and business. 
you benefit from other countries and, and, and different peoples that I mean of that country and you have good chances for self growth or self development and through and through understanding you learn how to overcome all obstacles and this is how you win you stay strong see once you get out of that that you stay out of that negative mind uh frame or that materialistic mind frame of being too materialistic it's good to have as long as you don't go overboard with it because it's about always a balance in the world you will win and you know your powers because there's a lot of people who don't really reach what it's supposed to reach they don't be what it's supposed to be like this energy they have this energy and they know they have it but a lot of them just don't attain to be the king of diamonds like they're supposed to be it don't matter if it's male or female but they, you got a few who do so with this being said, as the king of diamonds, a uh, person, you know what I mean, your finances, you manage well. And your families, your families are definitely well supported by you. You know what I'm saying? So you do a great job in the leadership of, uh, positions and authority. And you, you definitely don't want to be in no inferior positions. Because that's why they say you're the king of diamonds. So the king of diamonds, you know what I mean? You're all about the appreciation of the material values. You're all about the ultimate awareness of wealth. You're all about the growth. You know what I mean? Expansion and, and living a great life when dealing with business aspects of finances. Because this is what you're good at. So cooperation is the key. All kings deals with cooperation not to bring people together they're not to organize things and they they, they had a subconscious intuition so you had an intuition when it's dealing with uh finances when dealing with structure and organizing people and so you you the type of people who doesn't have good or bad relationship karma it's up to you how you utilize this energy see what i'm saying and so you are quite powerful and unwilling to compromise, which can cause problems on a personal level. So long as the woman king of diamonds balance out their strong masculine energy, they will be great. When talking about relationships, because they tend to want to dominate, just like any other kings of any suit. And so this is with the earthly plane and the financial financial plane. Some men are not able to deal with such power in a woman. Who has a king of diamonds energy. So the male and female are both guilty at looking at sex or sex or relationship on a financial point of view. As long as they don't look at it as that and look at it what is what it's supposed to look at look at it for, which is love, it will work out. And so it's, it's best for them to keep their business aspects out of their love life and it's for, for them to separate that not to look at their relationship as business you know what i mean and this is how they win so it's best for them to be honest with their partners and communicate you know what i mean close off the gap and just tell them what it is you know what i mean so they have to learn to express their fears and their emotions they have better luck in romance or, or marriage. As long as they can do that, they can win. They are attracted to those of the intellect, of the mind, and good education. And they are often found working with their uh, spouse or partner or, or, or they, they, their uh, husband, their wife, in a business. So the king of diamond females have strong ties with men of the heart suit and this is a powerful uh combination but not always an easy one so the diamond females have good connection with the king of diamond males and and this is good for marriage as, as long as they don't use their great power to make others change and as long as they allow people to be themselves they will win in, in a relationship that i mean this is how they win because they are naturally a peace-loving individuals who has a strong sense of fairness 
So in a personal relationship, they can make it uh, easy going and carefree. They can have a good, easy going and carefree relationship. As long as they don't be controlling and try to make other people change who they are or their partner change in a relationship, they will win. And so the King of Diamonds people are those who are born January the 14th. The Capricorn and your planetary ruling card is the Eight of Clubs. So look that card up. Look that card up. The Eight of Clubs also because it's your second card. And those who are born February the 12th, the Aquarius, your planetary ruling card is the Six of Diamonds. So look it up. And March the 10th, the Pisces, the Four of Spades is your planetary ruling card. So look it up. And those who are born April the 8th, the Aries, yours the two of diamonds, so look it up. May the 6th, the Taurus, yours the four of clubs, so look it up. June the 4th, the Gemini, the six of hearts, so look it up. And if you're born July the 2nd, you're the Cancer. So you, you your, your card is the king of hearts, so look it up. So, the planetary ruling cards is your second card. So, look it up. So, you will see that all will match. You will see you get more information by reading your planetary ruling cards. It gets no other than this because you are the king of diamonds, the material manifest of authority, uh, values, and finances, and business. And so, this would it be. Ashe, Ashe.